Hi guys, I want to talk to you about, uh, we're doing a study on the book of Revelations. Uh, I'm getting ready to go on here and explain you some things about that. But I want to tell you about my fasting. So yesterday I wasn't able to fast. Somehow the day got away from me. When you don't pay attention to your eating habits, you can eat on the sly. You got to really have a day where you paying attention to what you're doing. So I've decided that Saturday is going to be my first 24-hour day. I do work Saturday, but I don't work that many hours. Today I'm working as well, but I'm going to eat because I've already had breakfast. So obviously I can't do a fast if I've already had the breakfast. So I'm going to eat another dinner, work tonight. But tomorrow I'm not going to eat anything. I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to do one full day. It was supposed to be like three days this week. But it hasn't went forward. I've been stressed and worried about a lot of different things. I've been so stressed to the fact that my daughter, she came over here the day before yesterday. And she's so sweet. She took me out to get my feet and my nails. You see my nails? She took me out to a little nail shop right around the corner here. And they are like Chinese or Oriental people. Oh my goodness, they gave me a, a leg and a foot rub. Sometimes my feet swell up because I eat the canned goods. I'm, I, it's cheap, you know, I'm trying to stay on the cheap with the food. So I'll mix a, a can of vegetables. But she said, my get your vegetables fresh or frozen. So I'm going to stop eating like the can of corn or some kind of little canned tomatoes you know i put these in my soups that i make i always have because i figure if i can get a vegetable in a can it's cheap you know but you can get the vegetables frozen and fresh just as cheap in the can and then you can can those vegetables that you buy in jars can them up just like you have cans sitting here you can can your own stuff and save it to eat a fresh instead of a canned fruit or vegetable is what she's telling me uh you know can yourself so she got this polish it's called mood polish and sometimes when i look at it the tips of them is all brown or the tips are pale that mean you're you cold or your temperature it goes along with the temperature in your body but i didn't get the mood polish on my toes i just got uh the regular polish but when I went to the laundromat, I looked down at my feet and I had on my little sandal house shoes at the laundromat and there were custom men in there. You still worry about how a man look at you. Why? I don't know, you know, but I, you know, you still want to look decent as a female. So I looked at my feet and the guy was cleaning the floors in there and he, you know, people are sweeping and mopping. They're looking down. <laughs> it looked like he looked down at my feet and said, you know, like, whoop. Like, what happened? So immediately I called my daughter. I know she stay at places like nail shops and beauty supplies. Those are the places she stay in. She's always in there doing something to herself. So I said, you know, you promised me about a month ago that you was going to take me to get my nails done. And she came right over. She said, Ma, I'll be right over. I'm off today. She said, I remember I promised you that. And I told her, I said, you know, Mother's Day gone by. She did buy me a Mother's Day gift. But more than getting a Mother's Day gift, I wanted her to get my feet done. I said, I don't care about the nails, just do my feet. So, whew, Lord, I said, thank you, Lord. I didn't even have a tip to give the lady. I had one five dollars and I gave that to the man that did my nails. He massaged my hand with the oil and he did a good job. I said, make it short because I work and I work with my hands and he made them short. But the lady on my feet, oh my goodness, she rubbed my legs so good with the lotion and then she massaged my feet and she, then she took the thing and took the dead skin cells off. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hard on myself. I hate, I do not, I ain't gonna say hate, but I dislike seeing when you get your ankles and you wear them sandals and you see that white under the, under the heel, that's because somebody need to clean dead skin off the heel. So she took the heel and she said prop your feet she she did that thing and scrubbed out of us oh and every and, and by the time we got ready to walk out two or three more women that place was crowded women and women and women you get somebody to massage your legs and your feet with oils and and hot lotion she put the hot then she put the cold then she rubbed down you know because my legs be aching me and swelling up and stuff so 
I just thank God, you know. I said when I do make a little extra money, even if my daughter don't take me, and I see it looking bad, you know, start looking bad down there, I go down and take myself, you know. Not so much this, because I could take this off and polish this and do it myself. But my feet and legs, you know, when I had a relationship, he would always rub my feet and legs. But that's been a year gone, so there's no one. It's just me. It's been a year gone now. But I do miss that. I miss, come on, baby, let me rub your feet and massage your legs, you know. And then I'll say, every now and then, I'll say, well, let me do your feet. Because you always do mine. Oh, he loved that, you know. You know, women and men have to be good to one another in these relationships. If you're in a relationship or if you're just married or if someone is living together domestically or whatever you're doing, take care of one another. Love one another. Don't argue over petty stuff like money. What we gonna do with that? Sit down and make your notes together. You make your notes and he make his notes and then y'all put y'all two heads together and come up with a plan of action. Everybody get in on the plan, you know. So take care of one another and love one another if you have a relationship like that, you know. And don't be jealous hearted against each other. Go together to God in prayer and pray over your relationship and let the Lord guide and lead you all. And that's how you handle your relationship when you two together in a household or if you dating and you're just getting to know a person. Take all that to prayer with, to God and let him be in the midst of it. And it will be such a blessing unto your lives, you know. Well, that's my um, little tip this morning. I'll talk to you later.